In this video from Learn Electrics, we will look at new questions on the new changes to Amendment 2 of the 18th edition of the Wiring Regulations. With every new edition or new amendment, the Examination Board will include a significant number of new questions on the new regulations to make sure that you know the new book. Here, we will look at some of these new or changed regulations and show you how to find the answers in a methodical and organised method. And, if you've already passed the exam, but are a little rusty, then these videos will help you to brush up on your knowledge and maybe even give you some new learning. Trying to remember 600 pages of the regulations is impossible for most of us. Instead, Home in on the answer by looking for the keywords in every question. Then use the contents pages in the book to narrow your search. My go-to page is always page 3, the main contents page. This will then direct me to the contents pages at the beginning of each part, and many chapters also have their own contents pages too. This is just like using an A to Z street atlas to find a road in some far off town. First of all, how do we identify where there have been changes? Every change, addition, deletion or spelling correction to the wiring regulations book is marked by a vertical bar in the right margin of the page. It may be just one line, one paragraph or even the whole page. This bar indicates a change from the last book, and these changes are often focused on by exam question setters. They want to know if you are up to speed on the new regulations. Let's do this by looking at a few practice questions that may come up in the new exams. We will ask the question and then work our way to the answer in a methodical manner. Pause the video at any time so that you are then able to follow this in your own book and be sure of understanding each step of the process. The more effort that you put in now is time well spent when it comes to the exam. Here is the first question. A route enclosed with specified fire resisting construction designated for escape to a place of safety in the event of an emergency is a definition of something. And then there are four possible answers and only one is correct. Look for the key word in this question, which is the phrase, is a definition of. It is telling us that the answer is in the definitions part of the book. First of all, where is definitions? Go to page 3, the main contents page. Near the top of that page is part 2, definitions, and it tells us it begins on page 29. Now look for each of these four possible answers, one at a time, in definitions. You are looking for an almost exact word match with the words in the question. Find escape route. Does the definition in the book match the question almost word for word? No. Then move on to enclosed escape route. It's not there, so move on. Find protected escape route, and bingo, we have an exact match. Only answer C matches the wording of the question. Protected escape route is found on page 40. Now for practice question 2. According to the language used within BS 7671, the word shall implies this is a what? And four potential answers. This is a completely new entry into the regulations book and may appear as a question. Language, in this context, means the words used in the book. The answer is in the notes at the beginning of the book and does not appear in the index. There is no help offered in the book to finding this section on language used. The only thing that you can do is to remember where it is, page 18. An exam question can be asked on any part of the book between the two brown covers. Any part, any page, be ready. So here we are at page 18, and we find this very useful table at the bottom of the page. The word shall means that this is a requirement. No ifs, no buts, it must be done. So answer D is correct. On to question 3 now. 
When selecting and erecting equipment, the functional earthing conductor of an RCBO should be identified by use of the colour and four possible colours are shown. Again, look for the keywords in the question. For me, these are selecting and erecting equipment, functional earthing conductor, identified by the colour. These will all help you to home in on the answer. Straight to page 3 again, the main contents page. Looking down the page, we find part 5, selecting and erecting equipment. This is one of the key words from the question, and the book tells us to go to page 127. Under chapter 51, we find 514, identification and notices, and this sends us to page 129. On page 129 is another contents page just for chapter 51, with more detail and more information. This is page 129 here, and about halfway down we find regulation 514.4, identification of conductors by colour. So let's find regulation 514.4. If we go to 514.4 on page 132, we can scan down a short way and find 514.4.4, and this tells us to look at table 51 on page 134. We're nearly there. Go to table 51 now. Here we are on page 134 and table 51, identification of conductors. Look for functional earthing conductor near the top, and there is the colour pink. This used to be white, but now it's pink, and highly likely to come up as an exam question. So our answer is A, the colour pink. And now, practice question number four. Do remember to pause the video and follow the method in your book. The more that you practice, the easier that it becomes. We are asked, when selecting and erecting equipment, the presence of SPDs in an installation shall be indicated by an information notice at or near somewhere. Find the keywords, selecting and erecting equipment, SPDs, information notice. Looking at the main contents on page 3, we find that selecting and erecting equipment is part 5, beginning on page 127. Let's go there now. On page 127, we have the part 5 contents page and we will find section 514, identification and notices, another of our keywords. Find section 514 and then find a reference to regulation 514, .16.1 on page 129. Notice presence of SPDs in an installation. Now find the actual regulation 514.16.1 on page 137. And here is our answer as shown, the relevant distribution board. The correct answer is answer C. Now to question 5. You can be absolutely certain that you will be asked questions on prosumer electrical installations. Here is a practice question. In a prosumer low voltage electrical installation, PEI, which of the following is not listed as a type of PEI? Choose your keywords. Prosumer low voltage electrical installation, not listed. Note that this is a not question. You're looking for the odd man out. And the question is also asking you to find a list. Looking at the main contents page on page 3, towards the bottom we will find part 8, prosumer low voltage electrical installation, which can be shortened to PEI. Go to page 352. Arriving at page 352, there is no contents page. But look at the previous page, page 351, and there is the contents page for chapter 82. Look down the page, and there is a list of the types of PEI. 824.3, 824.4, and 824.5. And looking at section 824, on page 354, there is the list repeated. Which one of the potential answers to the question is not listed? And there is your answer. 
Distributed does not appear in the list. Answer B is the correct choice. And lastly, for this video, question 6. When selecting and erecting equipment in a bathroom, with the exception of self-socket outlets and shaver supply units, socket outlets are prohibited within what horizontal distance from the boundary or edge of zone 1? This is a change that many will not notice unless it is pointed out to them, and therefore highly likely to be an exam question. There are many key words here. Now go to the main contents on page 3. In a bathroom means that this is section 701 special locations and is found on page 242. Go to page 242 and somewhere on the next few pages you will find a heading selection and direction of equipment, another of the key words. You will find this on page 244, regulation 701.5 and many lines below that just above 701.55 you will see the sentence that contains the answer. This used to be 3 meters from zone 1 but has now changed to 2.5 meters. So our answer is B 2.5 meters. Watch out for this one don't let them catch you out. And there we have it for this video. Many more like this are on the way. Practicing questions is so important and do follow a logical method. Go over this video again and practice the questions until you are confident. Every extra practice now helps in the actual exam and helps you to pass first time. Good luck. Thank you for watching this video. It is very much appreciated. Please subscribe to our channel to get access to all of our videos and remember to click on notify to be sure of not missing our next video. And you will find even more information, videos and help on our website at learnelectrics.com. And don't forget, you can also type in Learn Electrics, all one word, into the YouTube search bar to go directly to our channel at any time from any computer. We are constantly adding new videos to our channel, don't miss the next one. And once again, Thank you for watching and we hope to see you again very soon.